confusingly, light years are not a measure of time, but distance, huge distances, especially those in space, where kilometers and miles just don't do the job. So scientists use the light year. Very simply, the distance light travels in a year if there's nothing to slow it down. Radio waves, what we look at here at Jodrell Bank, travel at the same speed. So if light travels 299,792.458 kilometers in just one second, over a year, that's 9 trillion, 460 billion, 730 million, 472,580.8 kilometers. And to get an idea of what that means, let's take the Earth and the Moon. In space terms, they're very close, about 380,000 kilometers apart. Light takes just over a second to travel between them. So this distance is about a light second. The sun, however, is a bit further away, about 150 million kilometers. Light takes about 500 seconds to travel from there to the Earth. That's about eight light minutes. Further out, our most distant space probe, Voyager 1, has traveled almost 17 billion kilometers to the edge of our solar system but that's still only about 16 light hours away. Head out of the solar system and the next nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is about 40 trillion kilometers away. And this is where light years start to come in handy because we can just forget about all these zeros and just say about four light years and stop there. Or not, and instead head to the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way, or Andromeda, the next big galaxy along which is a long way away, but also, when we look at it, a long time ago. Because when I look at Andromeda from Earth, I'm seeing it as it was two and a half million years ago, because that's how long it took the light to reach me. And that's a light year.